everyone, it's Carolyn again, and I just want to show you how I use um, this website that's called Sinshare.com. Um, I use Sinshare for my parties. So I have about every week I do about two parties. I try not to do more, although I have done more parties than two. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm not, I have three jobs and I work, so I can't always be on Facebook posting um, for my parties. So what I do is I will create like a, um, I'll create a script that I'll use for the entire month. And then I'll go in and I'll schedule these posts and SendShare will automatically post for me at the times that I choose. So it's not a free website, although they do have a free trial. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and um, do the free trial. But um, I did sign on and I do have an account with them and it's $10 a month. What I do, this is what SendShare is. So I'm just going to briefly show you. If you guys do decide you want to do this, just let me know and I can help you how to set up SendShare. Um, so basically what it is, is I can go in and write whatever I want, right? Let's just say I'm going to do a post. Uh, let's just say I'm going to do a welcome post. So welcome to um, Pixie's 31 party. And what's also great is I can click text clips. And I have things that I've already created. Like, let's just say I'm going to click Rachel. And I have her link already there. So it'll pop up for me. So shop Rachel's party. There it is. I can click and select the date I want it to post. So, I don't know, let's just say I want to post it on Wednesday. And I can select what time I want it to post. So let's say I want it to post at 7 in the morning because I'm not going to be on Facebook at 7 in the morning. So 7 in the morning. And um, then I can select here where I want it to post. So you can select um, any event that you have. It'll pop up here. So let's just click it on Rachel's party. You can also post it to my VIP page. And I can select a photo if I want a photo. Um, I have my photos saved, but I can, you know, let's just choose this one. You also have the choice of um, adding multiple photos, which would be this plus sign here. And I can click and drag photos onto here, or I can get a URL. So if I wanted to do more photos, I can. It's just uploading that there so I would just click and drag it here and I can do 10 photos in total and then all I do is click schedule post and here it is so these are posts that I've already have scheduled for the parties that I have going on now um, and what's great about SendShare, it saves everything. So I'm gonna delete this now before I forget. And welcome to Pixie's party it gets posted on Rachel's party. So I can hit delete post, but notice how I can edit it and I can copy it. If I copy it, it'll make a copy of it and then I can change it and I can add it to a different party. I can add somebody else's name to it, but I'm gonna delete this. Then, um, so that's how to post. Also notice there's a design with Canva. So if I don't have a picture and I want to design my own photo, I can click one of these. So Facebook post and it'll take me to canva.com where I can create my post. And then when I click save, it'll automatically update it right here. And I already have a picture. So that's another great thing about SendShare. It's kind of like partnered with Canva, I think. Um, if I click here, my networks, this is where I select what I want to show, what parties I want to show up. So here I have albums, I have all my events, 
and my groups. So if I have, you know, like say my next party, I think, you know, Bridget and Amy, if I click Bridget and Amy, it'll pop up over here. So if I go back here and I click here on timeline, there they are, Bridget and Amy. And I can click those and say, I want that to be posted to their party. But because those parties are not going on right now, I don't want to have those there so that there's no more, you know, there's no room for confusion. So I just unselect them and it's not there anymore. See? So that's, that's another good thing about them. Um, if I click here, it takes me to text clips. So remember when I was here and I was writing my post and I clicked text clips and I said I wanted to say that because let's say every post I do, I want it to post the link to the party. I don't have to keep copying and pasting the party link. It's already saved. And the way I did that was by going here and creating one of these. Just hit create new text clip. And I can click the label, what I want it to say, and then write whatever I want. So that's another great thing. That's text clips. And then if I click here, I have manage posts. Now every single post that I've done is saved. And I can go in here and post it again. So if I did a whole party on Cinch Share, which I do, with the exception of a few posts here and there, I can go in and just schedule it like I did before. So, for example, I'm looking for my um, my welcome posts, right? So I can just go, okay, well, on my first day of the party, I like to say, um, welcome, let's party. And I can click this, like, reuse sign, right? And click that, and it automatically has everything on there. So I go in and change the name to whatever I want. I can delete this and go back to text clips and put whoever's new link is there. And I can select the date that I want it to post and the new person I want it to post to. And then I just hit schedule post and then it'll come up. So that's briefly what um, SinShare is, if you decide you do want to do SinShare, just let me know and I can definitely help you out with it. If not, I mean, it's you can definitely also post your own Facebook post. I did that for the first few parties and it, I signed on and I and during Christmas, I had so many people booking parties that at one point I had five parties at the same time. And I thought, oh man, I have to get SinShare because there's no way I can go back and forth between five parties and schedule all these posts. So that's why I have SinShare and I don't regret it. I love this um, website. So let me know if you have any other questions, okay?